Azealia Banks was first known as a rapper, and a talented, passionate one at that. But then she started making way more headlines for her Twitter feuds than she ever did for her music. No one is safe from Azealia's rants. Some have said she is the Donald Trump of black people with her explosive overreactions to perceived threats from very non-threatening people like, I don't know, Zayn Malik's mama? From Bay to Iggy, this girl has put more people on blast than the bombing of Hiroshima. To help you keep track of all of her feuds, we've got a ton of them laid out for you right here on Listed. Let's kick off our list with Azealia's most recent feud, the one with Disney Channel star Sky Jackson at number one. FYI, her whole feud with Sky also intertwines with that of Zayn, but we'll talk about Zayn's after. So Azealia made all these comments about Zayn copying her vibe from her Young Rapunzel music video. Sky, who seemed tired of all of these allegations against Zayn, stepped in and tweeted, quote, Azealia Banks needs to simmer down a little. That's all she said, and all hell broke loose. The rapper clapped back by saying, quote, and you need to grow some hips and start your menses. Stay in a child's place. Uh, low blows, totally unnecessary. The argument then escalated to the two talking about who has class and who has a better career. And after a ton of vulgar tweets about Sky's mama pulling favors for her, the Disney Channel star ended the Twitter fight by saying, this wasted conversation is helping your career. Bye, honey. Take your L like a champ. Now, back to how it all started with Zayn Malik at number two. Poor thing, didn't even know he was being dragged into a Twitter war. In early May, after Zayn dropped the music video for his song, Like I Would, Azealia started commenting on how similar Zayn's visuals for his song were to the one that she had in her music video for Young Rapunzel. This is a little bit of Zayn's video. And here's a little snippet of Azealia's. Fair point, they're kind of similar, right? So Azealia called out Zayn for copying her look in a few tweets and she said that she wasn't really mad about the similarities and that Zayn is a cutie pie. And then Zayn tweeted out some sketchy messages that could have been directed towards Azealia, we'll never know. He said, quote, no lies, I see you reaching, but I don't care, my ass too good for you. Honestly, I still don't know what the hell that meant. But once that was sent out into the universe, Azealia took off her nice girl gloves and started tossing a bunch of racist, homophobic disses Zane's way. And she started talking about his mama. I will talk about your mommy. What are you going to do about it? Oh, oh. Uh-uh. You do not talk about someone's mama. So after she called him cultureless and made fun of him being Arabic and then took some jabs at his mama, Zayn finally responded saying, Azealia Banks, why you been saying nasty things about me? I wasn't talking about you, LOL. And that pretty much shut down the whole conversation. Well, that and Twitter suspending Azealia's account for all of her hate speech. Which, by the way, since then, she's made the point that while Twitter has suspended her account for her racist slurs, you also have white supremacists spouting their own racist ideology on Twitter and their accounts are fine, so she's got a point. Now, we all need to use that First Amendment responsibly, which is something she did not do with Iggy Azalea. So next up, Azalea versus Azalea at number three. It all started in 2012 when Iggy made it on the cover of XXL Freshman as the only female rapper. After the cover was published, Azealia took to Twitter to talk about why Iggy being on the cover is just plain wrong. And she made her point by calling out a lyric from one of Iggy's earlier songs. Azealia asked XXL, quote, how can you endorse a white woman who called herself a runaway slave master? Iggy Azalea on the XXL freshman list is all wrong. If you hate my music now because of how I feel about this, then I guess it's my loss. I'll take that loss. In any capacity, Kanye shrugged. I am not anti-white girl, but I'm also not here for anyone out of my culture trying to trivialize very serious aspects of it. Sorry guys, but I'm pro-black girl. It's a fair point, but then the fight got so nasty so quickly, and Azealia's vulgarity distracted us all from her original and grounded point. Not too long after that, 
Iggy responded and she threatened to block Azealia on Twitter. And then T.I. hopped into the conversation trying to defend Iggy against Azealia by saying, hey, Azealia, maybe you should try to worry more about your own business. Oh, well, the whole thing turned into a very huge mess. Their feud went on for years until 2014 came around and Azealia gave a very candid, very emotional interview to Hot 97, where she explained why she has a problem with Iggy and it all boils down to cultural smudging of music. But this line that she said, mm-mm, didn't sit too well with Iggy. That Iggy Azalea shit is not better than any black girl that's rapping today, mm -hmm. you know? And when they give those awards out, because the Grammys are supposed to be like accolades for artistic excellence. You get what I mean? Iggy Azalea is not excellent. After the interview aired, Iggy fired back by tweeting, quote, you are poisonous and I feel genuinely sorry for you because it is obvious at this point, you are a miserable, angry human being. Regards, enjoy continuing to bang your head against that metaphoric brick wall and savor this attention. I'm the only way you get any. Now, rant, make it racial, make it political, make it whatever, but I guarantee it won't make you likable and that's why you're crying on the radio. You created your own unfortunate situation by being a bigot and don't have the mental capacity capacity to realize it. Probably never will. Your inability to be responsible for your own mistakes, bullying others, the inability to be humble or have self-control, it's you. Special message for Banks, there are many black artists succeeding in all genres. The reason you haven't is because of your piss poor attitude. I don't disagree with all of that. Now, Iggy's rebuttal was not enough to end their feud because their hatred, unfortunately, has raged on. And Iggy was also not the only rapper that Azealia has had any beef with. At number four, we've got her war with Nicki Minaj. She turned down a chance to go on tour with Nicki to Europe, her reason being that she was finishing up her debut album, Broke with Expensive Taste. Nicki later tweeted out the words, hashtag, man, these delirious. Azealia, assuming that that hashtag was directed towards her, naturally started to go off on Twitter. She started to tweet, did you mean delusional? Delirious was the wrong word, Nicki Minaj. Use good grammar when insulting others. She then corrected herself by saying, proper grammar. I don't believe rap game hierarchy. Sorry, just wait until I drop this album. Then she called out Nicki when Nicki was having beef with Miley. Remember that? She called out Nicki's body enhancement procedures and basically said that women in rap don't support each other enough. Yeah, so maybe let's practice what we preach. Now, what are your thoughts on all of these? Get real and keep it respectful, please. So please comment below or y'all can hit me up on Twitter at Miriam Issa or you can follow me on Instagram at Miriam underscore Issa. And when you're done with that, please click right over here to check out all of the top Twitter feuds of 2015. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. I'm your girl, Miriam Issa, and thanks so much for hanging out with me. And you can click to the left to hear some of the weirdest rumors about Harry Styles or click to the right for all of the celebrities who have feuded with the Kardashians.